back to module three of our training, our WordPress training. Okay, in the last module, this is where we stop. I can remember very well. I have introduced us to the back end, that's our dashboard, the dashboard of our WordPress. All right, and I've told you that this is um, the place that determines what people see outside. So there's front end, there's back end. The front end is what people are seeing when you are saying that, okay, you are giving them your uh, uh, web address. So, and when they are browsing, that is what they see at the, at the front end. But what is happening there is being controlled by what you see here. Okay. So, and the next thing to do here is I've introduced also this to some of these um, things that we have here at the back end. So, but the next thing we want to do now is to install our theme. That's what we want to do. Uh, to my students, I've sent a theme to the platform ahead of this so that uh, we can use the same theme all through. So, because theme differs, so I wouldn't want want to download this. I want to. So I want all our questions. So, when you are downloading uh, themes later, so you'll be seeing what I'm talking about. But let's use one theme today. All right. So, um, or you come to appearance and say themes. Say themes, then then come to add new. So we're adding new theme. All right. All these things that you are seeing here, they are the one that comes with WordPress. All right. If you want, you can use them. But, um, uh, they are not professional enough that's what i'm that's why i don't use them okay so you come to upload upload theme all right so and the the name of my theme is six that I've, I've i've sent it to you is zig zag all right um you browse to where this uh, the theme is i've extracted it so this the extracted version i've extracted it all right so and that is uh uh, that is the one I've sent to the platform. So you need extraction again, all right. But remember that when you are when you download a theme from WP Locker or any any other site, for example, you need to extract that theme first and bring out the exact theme out of it. So this is the theme, and say open, and say install. So let's wait for this theme to install. It's going to take just a little time, all right. Let's just wait. Thank you. It's been uh, installed. The next thing to do is to activate the theme. So we need to activate that theme. Click on activate. So let's activate that theme. All right. All right. So our theme has been activated. Okay. And the next thing we need to do now is that because on with every theme that you, that you are installing on your system, it has uh it, it, it must carry some plugins okay it must carry some plugins sorry so it must carry some plugins so those are the plugins that, those plugins are, are what we'll be uh installing now we'll be installing some those plugins now so because if you don't install the plugins it will not um, it will not work okay so that's the first thing when you when you install a theme the next thing to do is to install the plugin so let's try and install our plugins now click on begin plugin installation and let's click here then come to this place and say install and say apply okay so let's wait for these plugins to install it's been uh As you can see, our theme has been, I mean, our plugin has been installed. Okay. Then uh, you can see them. We have about five plugins here, and they all have been installed. And all, the next thing we need to do is go back, uh, return to required plugins installer. So we we'll go back to the plugin installer because they are just being installed. They have not been activated. So all we need to do now is to go back to this plugin and say action and say, activate because if, you can, because if you look at this place you can see not activated not activated so let's activate all the things okay that's fine so let's wait for the theme i mean for the plugins to be activated okay let's see can i still wait for that okay the plugins have all been activated. So you said no plugins is installed. I mean, no plugin to install 
update or activate. So which means every all the plugins that we have here have been installed and they have been activated. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is, so let's go to our dashboard back and let's see how to uh, import our demo data because that's, that's the next thing for us to do now. We need to import our demo data because that thing comes with a demo data. Sorry, um, uh, we won't be able to uh, go with this because um, let me just uh, skip let me skip this. Let me skip this. I can close it from here. Okay. I've closed that one. Then I will now come to theme options. Theme options. Can you see theme options here? Then come to demo importer. Demo importer. Okay. Click on demo importer. So here now, scroll down. This is where you import your demo. What is the meaning of demo data? Demo data is the preloaded website now on this inside this demo we have pages that has been that has been designed they are the ready readily designed website that you will just go and modify to suit your own website you have what you, what you want to do in mind so when you see the preloaded site then you you will modify it you work with it you work on it to suit your own change pictures change uh, address change text and all that so that it change colors so that change your logo change the logo that your logo so that it can fit you so let's click on import demo data it's asking you you want to import demo content say okay so let us wait for this demo to uh be downloaded you coming back okay now that we have downloaded our our demo data is completed you can see 100 percent here so now let's save these changes um and let's see what we have on our site so how do we check so let's go and this is the back end let's go and check the front end and let's see what is happening there so come here okay and say visit site visit site open in a new window so, so that we keep this window open so let's check that window that we just opened now let's see how our site is going to look like all right so it's loading. Let's see what the front end is going to give us. The front end. Okay, it's loading. Okay, still loading. So this is our website. This is our website. Even though it's not yours yet until you uh, edit it, and put your own information there is not yet your own so it is that editing that we we need to do now okay you can see you can see look at the slider all right so this is um our homes uh and this is how your front end is going to look so we have a lot of homes there let's see what um let's see some homes again okay let's see another home page so you can check any other so you can choose out of these six home pages which designs you want to use out of the six home pages so you can choose okay okay this is another home page it's another home page so you can just go change the logo to your own then edit the the uh the uh the menu bar this is what we call the menu bar this is the title this this is the header so from here to here is the header and this is the slider so let, let me let's see let's see yet another page another home page let's see home page three let's see home page three let's see home page three okay this is another home page okay all right so these are the things that these are the uh, pages you can use you can design to fit into your own okay let's see another home page so that is that so you can see that we have finished the work at the back end so the front end is where we are now so we are going to be working uh, so we, we are going to choose one out of these um out of these pages that we will be working with all right we'll choose one out of it so this is 
how to install and to activate our theme with the plugins. I believe this will bring us to the end of this module. All right. Okay. We shall be the next module. We shall be. We shall start editing our uh, our site one after the other. Okay. First of all, I will be introducing us to uh, the web page. Uh -huh. Okay. From the next module. So see you in the next module. Thank you very much.